Jennifer, that Florence, which was once a category four hurricane, has weakened. And you may be wondering, well, how much does that matter for the people living in its path? Storm expert Steve Fundero breaks down the difference between each category. So even if you don't meet the eye of a hurricane, tropical storm force winds are nothing to mess around with. This is kind of what Jacksonville saw during Hurricane Irma. Sustained winds 50 to 60 miles an hour, gusts up to 80. And remember, sometimes it's not just the wind itself, it's what the wind is throwing. So we're talking about flying debris that causes big issues. Now at 74 miles an hour, we're dealing with a category one storm like most of Tampa Bay saw during Hurricane Irma. Well-constructed homes seeing some damage to the siding and the roofs, trees coming down much easier, branches coming down much easier. Talking about the flying debris falling on houses and cars, power lines coming down, the power grid could also see some disruptions with this. Talking about widespread power outages and storm surge, always a possibility with this flooding low-lying areas and streets. All right, at 96 miles an hour, we've got a category two hurricane, like Hurricane Francis was really impacted West Palm Beach. When the wind gets this intense, more and more objects begin to get thrown around. Trees start coming down, tree branches are flying around, street signs are flying around, all these things, projectiles, capable of shattering the windows and damaging your home and your car. And get this, if the wind gets inside of your home, it can rip the roof off. You also have significant storm surge to be dealing with, enough to flood out some coastal cities completely. Now, at 111 miles an hour, we've got a major category three hurricane. Mobile homes really gonna have a tough time surviving through this, and even older homes can see some major damages. Even the newer construction, all now at risk. This is the time we expect to see people go weeks without water and power, seeing major damages to siding, doors, and roofs. Now, 130 miles an hour marks a category four storm, like Hurricane Maria, devastated Puerto Rico. Blown open doors and smashed windows, leading to some really bad damage for newer homes even failing. Most trees and power balls come crashing down. And even if your home survives the wind, flooding storm surge becomes a major problem. Beyond the power outages and lack of water, access in and out of the area after the storm becomes extremely difficult. And if a storm produces sustained winds of 157 miles an hour, it becomes a category five. Like Hurricane Andrew back in 92, this is the highest rank a storm can get, a five out of five, because it's strong enough to produce catastrophic damage. Now the most powerful winds are located around the eye of a tropical cyclone, which in perspective is only a really small portion of the storm. However, these storms are huge. So the winds, damaging winds that is extend well out from the center, hundreds of miles in all directions.